Welcome to the Tech Today podcast powered by CEO Raider. It's your host, John Mayetta. Consider this a Tech Today quick hit. We wrote several weeks ago at Tech Today that you're going to see analysts bring earnings estimates down for the out quarters and the out years as inflation and as a recession take hold, companies are going to be squeezed from both ends, you know, revenue and, and earnings. Cost of goods sold in OPEX goes up. When your input costs are impacted by price inflation, and then there's a demand side, obviously, to, to, to price inflation, where consumers and enterprises pull back on spending when they have limited visibility or if they feel that cost pressures are um, becoming difficult to manage, you know, they tend to exercise caution. So we saw that today with uh, on a company level with, with Snap uh, saying they're going to miss revenue and earnings. In a recession, advertising is one of the first things that's always pulled back, whether it's... Uh, you know, print ad spend or, or online spend. So that, that'll continue as, as things soften here as we move through calendar 2023. You'll continue to see ad-driven businesses slow. And then in addition, you'll see consulting businesses slow. And that doesn't mean, for example, if it's a, a, a big consulting organization like Accenture, that their entire business will fall off a cliff. But you'll see um, tip of the spear type activities such as strategic consulting um, in, in tr true pure consulting projects will get cut or pushed out big consulting projects will get pushed out and or they may get broken down into smaller projects um, operational activities would, would probably continue depending on the activity. So if there's a, a, a migration that's in place, that will continue a, a technology migration from one platform to another. That stuff, that type of work tends to get hit secondarily uh, after you, you see a, a slowdown on, on pure consulting activities. So those are the two things to, to watch for. Moving into uh, Q2 this year, on a macro level, the other call that we made, which was a, a call that we made in April of last year when we published our book, Stagflation is Eminent. It's interesting now that some of the, the folks that flow through Bloomberg and CNBC are now talking about stagflation as a base case. That was an easy macro call, given the amount of debt that politicians on, on the fiscal side and the, uh, the Fed in terms of its printing, given the amount of debt that was created in April of 2020 through, uh, you know, through March with uh, fiscal stimulus and, and quantitative easing uh, through March of, of 2022. Um, all those activities are, are debt funded. When the Fed prints, they're effectively not only printing a dollar, but they're creating a dollar of debt. And so when you layer that much debt on top of an economy that already has quite a bit of debt uh, in existence, when you take debt north of GDP, that debt is a wet blanket on growth. And then you, 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 you factor in the price inflation, which real-world price inflation is much higher than the government-reported CPI. Real-world price inflation is... is in, in double digit territory as, we, as we've been writing over the past year plus and so uh, when, when you have muted growth heavy debt and inflation that's that's called stagflation and that's going to be uh, the scenario we're in for the foreseeable future given that as we've written it will be awfully difficult for the Fed to reel in inflation um, they can't allow rates to go to where they need to be to, to cool off inflation quickly. In other words, they can't go to where Volcker went uh, back in the early 80s, given that we have $30.4 trillion in public debt outstanding. Um, you know, the, the, the fiscal side of the house simply would not be able to service that debt if the Fed allowed rates to go to double-digit ter territory. 
So our guess is the, I think we wrote three, three weeks ago, that the Fed will probably take a stop-go approach to, to tightening. Beginning in June, they'll start to let uh, treasuries bleed off of the balance sheet. So we would have liked to have seen the Fed actively trim its balance sheet, but initially they'll just, they'll just let securities mature. Uh, the balance sheet, as we've written, is is could could have more impact than increasing the Fed funds rate. And we'd rather see the Fed shrink its balance sheet faster and focus more of the tightening effort on the balance sheet as opposed to um, artificially manipulating the, the, the Fed funds rate. So that's it for today. Hope everyone is well. We'll be back to you soon. Be well.